<laughs> Hi, you guys. I'm Lori McNee. Come on in. So this is my home, and I choose to have a home studio. It's been really convenient for me, being a mom of three kids. I reared my children and had to work in between loads of laundry and nap time. And so here's my studio. So I've been painting for nearly 25 years now, and I like to paint still life, landscape, and plein air. And still life painting, obviously I paint in my studio and I can set it up. And a still life's interesting because I can create my own small universe. I've always really loved birds. And as a little girl growing up in Arizona, I would save birds that would hit the window and nurse them back to health. And I started drawing and painting them and I've been doing it ever since. Outside in the field with plein air, mother nature's in charge. And in the landscape, studio landscape, I take the studies that I use from the field and then I use them along with my computer as reference material and I create a landscape painting. So I'm getting ready to head out in the field. I take my little painting partners with me. Hup, she's getting kind of old. She still likes to go though. And then Oliver. <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> portable studio. The wind is always really challenging. And these are a couple tools that we use in the field. This is a viewfinder. I, I also you saw me taking photographs. I take photographs and you can use a viewfinder to kind of help isolate because there's so much to look at. It's really hard to decide and edit and this helps you. Also, this is another little trick. It's not a magnifying glass, it's a reduction glass. Another thing I bring out here, and people make fun of me, is bear spray. But I'm out here quite a bit by myself, and just the other day, there were three mountain lions right back here that were videotaped on a webcam uh, on an elk kill, and they literally were right back here. So I start with a thin amount of paint, and I generally come in and kind of figure out where my darks are going to be to really break down the shapes into flat masses. Trying to see, capture some of the color that's out there. So you can see it's starting to take shape. There's a moose. excited about that moose because I, what I think I'll do is use this for reference material along with the photographs and I think I'll do a large studio piece with that moose in the crossing the river. I think it would be really a wonderful uh, piece for my show coming up this summer. Oh man, that was so neat. So that moose is a perfect example of why I moved to Idaho 25 years ago. I'm a native Californian. I love California. I miss the beach, but you just can't beat the mountains. I'm able to escape. You know, my house is only a couple miles away, if that, and I'm out in the wilderness. I just love it. And we saw a moose. I talked earlier about the mountain lions. So we're surrounded by nature in this beautiful place. Thank you.